Our first question for today, and I've, as you have noticed, we've changed from the evening between Maghrib and Isha, Mecca time, to 2 o'clock till 3 o'clock p.m. Mecca time because of the curfew. So Aisha says, in Pakistan, many scholars advise to give adhan in mosques and from rooftops together from 10 p.m. onwards so that Allah will cure and uplift the coronavirus. They say they will continue this every day until the disease ends. They used a hadith regarding this, which says Allah uplifts punishment from places where the adhan is given. Is this hadith and action correct? Well, first of all, the hadith is not authentic. It is very weak, so it is not permissible to implement it. Second of all, any young student of fiqh, if you ask him, define the adhan for me, he would say adhan is a collection of phrases prescribed by sharia that is said by the mu'adhin to notify that the time of prayer is due. And this is only given for the five daily prayers. So we don't give the adhan for Eid. We don't give the adhan for prayers of rain. And we don't give the adhan for sun eclipse, etc. Only for the five daily prayers. Now, if this is the case, how would you justify the action of the people of Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, asking the people to come at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock p.m. when they have prayed Isha and just call the Adhan. Those who wake up think it's Fajr, not knowing that this is an innovation they're bringing. So is this or does this have any basis in Islam? If you go back to the Quran and the Sunnah, you will not find anything related to this in the Quran or in the Sunnah. But if you look in the books of schools of thought, you will find that the Shafi'i school of thought were the most in promoting this. So they say you can give adhan when a newborn is born. And if someone is depressed, and if someone is traveling, you give adhan while he's leaving. At the time of fire, when there are uh, uh, armies about to fight, when there are jinn spreading around, when you lose your uh, direction while traveling, when a person has seizure, when a person is angry, subhanAllah, when, a per when they put a deceased corpse in the grave because they give adhan in the ear when he comes, so they give another adhan when he leaves this world. What is this? All of this has no basis to it in Islam at all. The Maliki school of thought said all of this is bid'ah. All of this is innovation. It's not based on the Quran nor on the Sunnah. The only excuse that we can find for them is that Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said that when you feel that there are lots of devils and demons around you, give adhan. And this is a narration that was made Hassan by Al-Hafidh ibn Hajar. I don't know what other scholars said about it, but b being made Hassan doesn't give it full authenticity unless it was authenticated by other Imams. But even if it is authentic, this is the opinion of Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, not of the Prophet alayhi salatu and some would say that the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, when he said that whenever the mu'adhin is giving the adhan, the devils run away farting because of the adhan. So this might, might help if someone is in the wilderness and he's afraid of the jinn that he gives the adhan, though this hadith clearly states that the devil is running away from the call of prayer when done in the masjid, not a normal 
cases when it's not time for prayer. But even though this is not a strong way of utilizing this evidence. So in short, what the people are doing in Pakistan, what they are calling people to go on rooftops and call the Adhan, this is totally baseless. This has no foundation in Islam, one, none whatsoever. It is like when the French invaded Egypt. The scholars there said, let's gather in the masjid and read in Sahih al-Bukhari. Because it's a blessing. It's a blessing, but it will not help defend your country. You have to go pick up arms and fight in the cause of Allah. They sat in their masjid, they conquered Egypt, they overtook the whole country. And Bukhari did not help them. So you have to help yourself. Confine yourselves to your homes, try to wash your hands, stay from physical contact, quarantine yourself, and inshallah, this all would weather away with the grace of Allah.